What's going on everybody? Uh, Jason here and in this video I'm going to talk about the importance of being prepared for great opportunities. You know it's really interesting to me because there are really two aspects to being prepared which is looking prepared and being prepared like having all the information uh, written down or researched about whether it's a job opportunity that you're you know interviewing for or you know maybe you're presenting something like a presentation to me it's all about you know looking sharp it's about looking the part basically it's also about uh, making sure that you know your stuff you know what you're talking about show the people that you're presenting or that you're interviewing with you know what you're talking about both are really important if you look sharp but you don't know what you're talking about or you don't present that uh, that's going to be a problem, but if, you know, you know what you're talking about, but you're too dressed up or you're uh, too dressed down, you're not in kind of that uh, pocket zone, if you will, that's also going to be a problem. Maybe not as much if you're not prepared for the interview and or the presentation and you haven't put in the work for it. In terms of style, I'm still working on my style-ishness, if you will. There are plenty of videos out there uh, that talk about style and, you know, how to present yourself. But, uh, it is something that's important. So the other thing I actually wanted to mention in terms of being prepared for an interview or being prepared for some kind of uh, presentation is there's like this kind of confidence that comes over you when you're prepared for something like I know what I'm talking about or you know I, I like it's a it's a really good feeling basically is what I'm trying to say it's something that doesn't happen when you haven't put in the work to do so and it's something that people will take note of and they'll be like oh you know Jason's confident you know he, he knows what he's talking about the only thing I, I would just briefly mention is don't let that uh, boost of confidence go to your head because even though uh, you do know what you're talking about in that moment, you still, for the next presentation or for the next uh, interview, if you have to uh, go on one, you still want to make sure that you, you do the work to prepare for the next uh, presentation of w whatever that is, or public speaking if, if you do that. So that's my only word of caution is uh, the confidence boost is great um, once you put in the work. But just make sure uh, that you don't let it go to your head is my only kind of cautionary piece of advice. Something else I want to mention really quickly is being prepared does take work and it does take uh, commitment and it does take discipline. One of the things uh, that does really help with being prepared is creating some kind of routine. So like even if you take 15 minutes uh, every day to uh, you know, do the research that you need to do uh, or put in the work that needs to be done will really help uh, to meet the deadlines that you need to meet. The important thing is just to knock out, you know, and, and schedule 15 minutes a day of, you know, doing that research and, and putting in the work uh, to get done whatever needs to get done. All these are, are very important and I wanted to quickly at the end of the video acknowledge that uh, this does take uh, work and it does take time to develop a, a routine uh, to develop the discipline to, to do this. But if it can be done, you're not only on your way to a confidence boost, but you're on your way to uh, being the best that you can be every single day. One last thing before I wrap this video up is I created an outline for the talking points of the video. And this is a good uh, public speaking technique. This doesn't necessarily apply to the research, but if you get nervous speaking in public or speaking on camera, uh, getting your talking points down, not necessarily word for word, but just getting the, uh, down the, talk, the talking points uh, can really help uh, make you a little bit less nervous uh, when speaking in public or uh, on camera. Anyway, so thank you so much for uh, watching this uh, video. If you did go on to enjoy it, uh, be sure to uh, give it a like and uh, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Be sure to uh, hit the bell 
because uh, that really helps make sure that you can see the videos. Uh, and again, thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you later. All right, thanks so much. Bye-bye.